The Shah, with his wife and four children, walked across the lawns from the grounds of their private villa, accompanied by security guards. We were told they would not answer any questions. Watched by tourists from nearby hotels, the family walked up the steps from the swimming pool to pose as a group. A woman who claimed to have met the Shah in Canada startled his entourage by walking up and shaking his hand. I just wanted to wish him good luck, she said. The Shah's children had already been down on the beach walking the family dogs. But the Shah himself, looking pale but composed, was still in a formal suit. Your Majesty, can you say how long you intend to stay here? Not quite. Uh, well, I'm afraid not, but it's a beautiful place. <laughs> Do you expect to settle permanently here, sir? Uh, we are visiting. American State Department officials are said much. to be on the island conferring with the Shah and his advisors. But his appearance here in the Bahamas still leaves many questions unanswered. What we still don't know is why the Shah has chosen the Bahamas for a visit, how long he intends to stay, and what his permanent future plans are. Norman Rees, ITN, in the Bahamas.